Today, I'm going to be building a brand new website using a random client generated by ChatGPT. So the client I'm working with is Sugar High. They are a baker that specialises in fancy desserts. The goal of the website is to reflect their brand identity, showcase their desserts and to allow online orders. And the restriction that I had to follow is that they only want to use pink and white, which is a part of their existing branding, and I can't deviate from that at all. So you'll see me right now looking through Pinterest, just looking for some inspiration, looking to find some competitors. Um, I'll do this by just looking up competition in the specific industry of the, the business that I'm working with as well. And these days I also use Midjourney to come up with AI-generated designs, and this is really a good approach because... It helps you to escape those pre-sort of determined biases that you hold in your own mind. It's sort of natural for designers to have their own preferred ways of going about designing certain interfaces. It'll be things that worked for them in the past. So Midjourney is actually a great way to escape that and come up with designs and solutions that you otherwise would never have considered. So I love diving into Midjourney to get some inspiration influence there as well. So you see me here working in Figma, that's the tool that I use to come up with designs on website projects. Really offers everything you could ask for when designing a website and more. Um, one such thing that it offers is the pen tool, which you can see me making an absolute fool of myself here trying to use. Thank God I'm covering myself by speeding this video up. Because um, I was trying to be smart and go fast, making a wee transitional shape here, and then I totally ballsed it up. So... I settled quite quickly that I wanted this cut open cake in the hero section just to sort of make your mouth water as you land. And then we've got a nice wee um, stylized bit of text. I used chat GPT just to come up with quick copy. That's really what I tend to do now instead of using lorem ipsum on designs. I come up with quick copy that's sort of relevant for the website that I'm working on whatever industry it is, it just helps the client be able to visualise a wee bit easier because I know as designers and developers, lorem ipsum is just regular to us, you know, we're used to using it and we know that it, we, we can visualise what it represents, but I found that some maybe non-tech or non-design related people can maybe struggle to visualise what it represents. Um, so you can see him just fleshing out the a wee lead magnet at the bottom, get 50% off, coming up with a footer which has got links to all your social channels. And on this landing page I was really just trying to cover all the bases of providing information about the bakery, showing that you can place orders online, um, giving the option of collecting emails through this lead magnet at the bottom and just making it professional, showing the, the ability of the bakers there and really just demonstrating their expertise. And now I'll just show off the finished article here. So we can see the hero section. We've included that delicious cut open cake that's going to attract anybody who lands on the hero section of the landing page here. And we want to push the users down to viewing the menu. Here we've just got some wee bits of proof. So we are a trustworthy online payment provider. We provide fast delivery and you'll be supporting a local business. Then we've just got a wee preview of the menu, hoping to push potential customers into that full menu, making an order. You can then also start an online order for a special occasion. And then we push the user down to a lead magnet, which offers 50% off the first order in exchange for the user's email. And really the goal here was to push users towards placing online orders, showing that we are a trustworthy local business and also showing the expertise that the bakers provide and that they can really provide a, a product or a cake that is truly special and will make a wedding, birthday or any celebration a memorable one. So I hope you enjoyed that wee walkthrough of my shortened design process for this little exercise. If you did, I'd love if you would like the video and let me know if you'd like to see this kind of content in the future. Have a great day. Cheers.